Hello viewers, how are you all? Welcome to our channel Trade Empire. Today I will explain about the Donchin channel, which can help you for making your trade more efficient. Moreover, I will also explain two trading strategies, in which we will use the Donchin channel with the Vortex indicator. But before going ahead in the video, if you are new to our channel, then hit the like button and subscribe our channel, so you can keep getting these types of videos also in future. Donchin channel is a very fine indicator, which indicates the volatility of the market. As you can see here, there are three lines in the Donchin channel. The upper line indicates the highest price of the stock price for the specific number of periods. Similarly, the lower line indicates the lowest price of the stock price for the specific number of periods. And the middle line is considered as the average of the upper line and lower line. The default setting for the Donchin channel is 20 periods. Now let us see how the uptrend and downtrend are formed in the Donchin channel. If the price moves ahead by touching the upper line, then it is said that the stock is in the uptrend, and during this uptrend, we can get the opportunities for the buying. If the price moves ahead by touching the lower line, then it is said that the stock is in the downtrend, and during this downtrend, we can get the opportunities for the selling. The Donchin channel may become smaller or bigger according to the volatility of the stock price. If the volatility of the stock price is low, then the distance between the upper line and lower line becomes smaller, and channel becomes narrow. This situation indicates that the price is in range bound zone. When the volatility of the stock price is higher, then the distance between the upper line and lower line is increased, and the channel becomes wider. Till here, you understood about the Donchin channel. Now let us understand about the Vortex indicator. Vortex indicator is used to identify the direction of the trend, as well as the start of the trend. Let us understand how. As you can see, there are two lines in the vortex indicator. The green line is the positive vortex and it is called the uptrend line. The red line is negative vortex and it is called the downtrend line. When positive vortex line is above the negative vortex line, then the stock will be in the uptrend. Similarly, when the negative vortex line is above the positive vortex line, then the stock will be in the downtrend. The crossovers between the positive vortex line and negative vortex line are also important. When the positive vortex line crossover the negative vortex line from downside to upside, then it will be the bullish crossover, and during this bullish crossover, we can get the buying signals. In the same way, when the positive vortex line crossover the negative vortex line from upside to downside, then it will be the bearish crossover, and during this bearish crossover we can get the selling signals. Thus, Vortex Indicator is very effective during the trending market. Till here, you understood about both the indicators. Let us now combine the Donchin channel and the Vortex Indicator for more accurate trade setup. After the range bound zone, the price may move in a trending zone. Thus, after a narrow Donchin channel, if we can find a proper entry point, then we can get the benefits of upcoming trending zone. Let us understand with an example. Here we have the chart of a stock on 30 minute time frame. As you can see here, the volatility of the stock price is low. Thus, the distance between the upper line and lower line is low, and the Donchin channel becomes narrow. Now this candle made the closing near the upper line. Thus, this situation indicates for the uptrend. Moreover, here the positive vortex line crossover the negative vortex line from downside to upside, so this is our bullish crossover, and this bullish crossover increases the confirmation for the uptrend. So, we will buy at the high of this candle, our stop loss should be at the low of this candle, and our target should follow our 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio. After our buy entry, the price made a good up move, and we achieved our target effectively. Now let us take a sell example. Here we have the chart of a stock on 30 minute time frame. As you can see here, the volatility of the stock price is lower, and the price moves along the middle line. Thus, 
the channel becomes narrow. Now this candle made the closing near the lower line, thus this situation indicates for the downtrend. Moreover, here the positive vortex line crossover the negative vortex line from upside to downside, so this is our bearish crossover, and this bearish crossover increases the possibilities for the downtrend. So, we will sell at the low of this candle, our stop loss should be at the high of this candle, and our target should follow our 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio. Here, after our sell entry, the price made a good down move. In our second strategy, we will use the double top and double bottom patterns inside the Donchin channel. And for the accurate entry, we will use the vortex indicator. Here we have a stock chart. As you can see here, the price made a support to the lower line. After that the price moved like this and made its second support at this point to the lower line. So, this is a double bottom pattern. It is okay if the second bottom is slightly up or down as compared to the first bottom. Thus, here we have the opportunities for the buying. Furthermore, here we have the bullish crossover, and this bullish crossover increases the confirmation for the uptrend. So, we will buy at the high of this candle, our stop loss should be at the lower line, and we can exit when the price touches the middle line. You can see the result, at our exit, we made a good profit. Now let us take a sell example. Here we have a stock chart. As you can see here, the price made its first resistance at this point to the upper line. So, this is our first top. After making the first top, the price moved ahead, and the price made its second resistance to the upper line at this point. So, it is the second top, and this is our double top pattern. Thus, here we have the opportunities for the selling. Now, here we have a bearish crossover, and this bearish crossover indicates the possibilities for the downtrend. So, we will sell at the low of this candle, our stop loss should be at the upper line, and we can exit when the price touches the middle line. You can notice, after our sell entry, the price made a fine down move. That was all. My dear viewers, if you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button and subscribe our channel so you can keep getting these types of informative videos also in future. Take care of yourself.